address to the nation, you said we have to put politics aside, stop the partisanship, and unify together. Um, but this morning, you criticized the Democratic governor of Michigan. Yesterday, it was the Democratic governor of New York. You've attacked Obama. You talked. You attacked Biden. Oh, I only do that when I have to respond. I watched her on television. She said something that was false, and therefore, I did do that. And I will continue to do that. If they're not going to play fair, because, you know, they have the media on their side, I don't. When was the last time you heard one of these so-called journalists question a Democrat in this manner? In fact, when was the last time you ever saw a Democrat question about attacks on a Republican? It doesn't happen. Joe Biden has attacked Trump every day for the last month, and the media hasn't had a single problem with it. Trump is right to bring up Obama because under his administration, there were virus outbreaks that resulted in tens of thousands of dead. But without any of the insanity we're witnessing from the media right now, one of the Democrat media's goals seems to be silencing their political opposition in one way or the other. Whether it be censorship or more extreme extreme methods that have been historically popular on the left, such as simply imprisoning your opposition. Believe it or not, they're already doing mental gymnastics to convince themselves of ways to actually prosecute Fox News and Donald Trump with murder, claiming that they're somehow to blame for the coronavirus. On Monday and Tuesday night, CNN commentator Joe Lockhart and MSNBC legal analyst Glenn Kirshner let Twitter know that they were concocting the next DNC media con job. And they're doing this around the fever dream that they could possibly prosecute both their business and political opposition with murder for supposedly misinforming the public about the deadly nature of coronavirus. We'll get right back to exposing this latest media con job, but first I have an important message for all my viewers. The world we live in today is in flux, filled with a flood of information that's often as much gossip as fact making it hard to know what the real situation is, making it easy for people to panic and make bad decisions. The only way not to get caught up in that chaos is to have a plan allowing you to avoid dealing with empty store shelves, long lines, and in the worst case, desperate people. Use today to prepare. A great place to start is storing food in your home. I'm prepared and I ordered even more recently. With this unprecedented emergency, orders are being delayed, sometimes eight weeks or more. I urge you to add your order to mine today. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. Those that know what's coming are preparing today. Go to preparewithdronetech.com. That's preparewithdronetech.com. When this is all over and we properly examine what was done right and what was done wrong, I hope we can have an honest national conversation on the toxic effect of Fox News. They are a critical instrument of Trump and his approach to the crisis. For all the people who have been colorfully saying that this was all hype by the media trying to hurt Trump, check out the new views of Hannity and Ingram tonight. Bruh. <laughs> You're literally engaged in this behavior right now. Just think about how crazy this is. He's desperately trying to rationalize ways of imprisoning people who oppose him not only ideologically, but are also his business competitors. You'll notice he's not at all interested in any national conversation about the toxic effects of CNN or the other left-wing propaganda outlets. In typical fashion, this thought doesn't even cross his Android CPU. They weren't done yet as the MSNBC legal analyst Kurt decide to add his insane thoughts to this fever swamp of bullshit. Can we talk about one of the few topics I may actually know too much about? Homicide? Specifically, whether Donald Trump may have criminal exposure for some level of negligent homicide or voluntary involuntary manslaughter for the way he's mishandled the coronavirus crisis? Bruh. Okay, folks, we already know the death tolls of past pandemics, including those that occurred under the Obama administration with multiple tens of thousands dead. But I don't recall any calls for prosecution by Fox News or the Republicans, much less for murder. How can you even say that Trump has mishandled anything when so far things are going pretty good. But of course, these Democrat Party operatives pretending to be journalists are already spinning up their next attack on Trump for when all this blows over. Kirshner went on to say, quote, as a federal prosecutor handling murder cases in Washington, D.C., and specifically was tasked with overseeing all murder prosecutors, he was always on the lookout for novel ways to apply homicide liability and an attempt to appropriately and ethically hold accountable those who are responsible for taking the life of a fellow human being. He said a lot more and I'll spare all of you, but if you want to go back and read it, here you go. So you got that? Trump and Fox News are just like murderers in Washington, D.C. Hmm. 
Based on that logic, are the Democrats who are running sanctuary cities responsible for the murders that are committed by illegal immigrants that they're sheltering? Not likely. Just wanted to let you all know about this as I think this is the direction the media and the Democrats are going to go after the coronavirus blows over. It'll be all about blaming Fox News and Trump for anybody that died from the coronavirus. That's all for this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content and you want to support this channel, please do so on one of these platforms. You can find all the links in the description and pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.